This is the Chrissy Swan Show. Let's talk Gomez. Chrissy's clickbait. I'm a Selena Gomez stan, are you? Yeah, absolutely. Love her. Love her acting, love her singing. I was really surprised. She sat down for an interview in uh, Vanity Fair, my favourite magazine. Um, cover story, amazing. Looks phenomenal. Looks phenomenal, is phenomenal. She's so smart and sassy. But I was surprised to hear that music was sort of an accident for her. She sees herself just as an actor and music she sort of does on the side. I kind of forget because, yeah, I'm with you, Swanee. I yeah. always just see her as a singer first. But she did start as a Disney kid, right? Exactly. But you th- they're sort of the su- like acting and singing is yeah. kind of the repertoire for them. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. She's, uh, she's with a guy called Benny Blanco. And it started out, I remember when they first got together and she posted it on Instagram. God, I know so much about her that I didn't realise. I'm really a fan. Anyway, I follow her on Instagram. I think she is or was the most followed person on Instagram. Oh, right. So I'm not special. No. (laughs) Billions of us. Anyway, I remember her post. It was quite controversial because she sort of announced they were together. And everyone was surprised because historically... They had beef. Why? I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. I didn't go that deep into it. Yeah, okay. But initially they were enemies and now she says that she has never been loved this way. Take that, Bieber. Ha! I mean, weren't they like 11 though? Come on. Selena and Bieber, they were never, that was never going to work. No, and Justin was in going through his rough, rich kid yes. bratty phase. Yes, I mean, they've both moved on. They're both happy now. Totally. He's a, he's a father. But she says of Benny Blanco, he can't lie. That's nice. That's a good it? trait to have. I saw a headline about Benny Blanco last week. I forgot to send you on Instagram. He uploaded photos of his pedicure, and he got a pedicure to match a Persian rug it's with, like, rug. tassels and everything. What a delightful man. <laughs> anyway, sorry, back to Selena. But also, don't post... Your feet, ever. Well, you know what the most offensive thing about that is, is not the toes, it's the hair. On the toes, I know. Oh, my God. Can you imagine how much that would hurt if you plucked it out? Anyway, very, very in-depth, exciting article um, culminating in a, uh, a, a confession that... Her and Taylor Swift are basically best friends and she goes to my saviour uh, for music advice, but mainly just to talk about reality TV. I love that. Like you and me. She's a Vanderpump Rules gal too, Selena. And now she's moved on to that new one. The um, the uh, the Valley. Uh, the Valley. Yeah. Anyway, I can't wait for that um, to arrive in my mailbox. You know, it's the only magazine I subscribe to. Still, that still turns up to the compound. Love it. Oh, and also that's life and take five. Okay. Um, now, The weekend. this is exciting. He's got a new single. We feel I feel like I've been waiting for years for this single. Dancing in the Flames, it's called. It's really good, and it co- we're going to play a grab of it uh, for you in a moment, but it coincides with the release of a video as well, which is not that unusual. What is unusual is that the video was shot entirely on the new iPhone 16 Pro. Sick. And it looks like cinema worthy. It really does. Of course, I've got the 15 and I thought I was so fancy. Now I want to throw it in the bin. I know. At the end of this month, Swanee, you should jump onto Apple and start ordering the new one. Absolutely not. This will see me (laughs) out, as my gran used to say. Let's have a listen to the new single. It's so good. Playing this. It drops it drops Friday, Swanee. It's so good. And so smart by Apple to team up with someone like him because he has that futuristic kind of oh. vibe about him and the video is sick. The video is amazing. It was and shot in slow-mo, the video, on the new iPhone 16 Pro. I want this iPhone so much. It, do you know what prices start at? It's cheaper than the last one. It starts at cheaper than what the 15 was. I don't think so. Yeah, the 15 was $14.99. This one, they've, they've lowered the price. It starts at 
for a phone. Yeah, but Swanee, it's what the iPhone. What happened to the Nokia 3210? Oh, can I just say one new feature about this iPhone that they unveiled that excites me? It's yeah. all about Apple intelligence, so like AI. Yeah. So you're going to be able to like create an emoji by just speaking to your phone. You could say, I want a rainbow cactus, and it will create a rainbow cactus for you. Oh, my God. They're, I've just I've just spent thirteen ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. First, Chrissy's clickbait. Massive snub. Massive snub for Beyonce at the CMAs, the Country Music Awards. Do you remember she released that album and everybody, I mean, we here at Nova played that Texas Hold'em every 10 minutes. We did. You see, her, I, I, do, I do love it now. It is the best song on Cowboy Carter. Absolutely. The rest of the album I didn't love. Really? No. Well, either did the Country Music Awards. <laughs> Beyonce got not one single nomination. Yeah. I can't believe it. It, like, it doesn't feel right given how successful well, it was it number. Charted. It was number one on the country music charts. Yeah, see, that's wrong then. It's very unusual and, you know, people are outraged. But, I mean, you know, like the goddess of music, Dionne Warwick... <laughs> Um, that's what friends are for, uh, has said this is outrageous. And it sort of is. I think they could have been less obvious about it. I think there was some shade thrown here by them not putting her up for a nom. I do too. Because and, I, and, it, and it comes, it's historically, yeah. I think, because she did say when she released this album that, you know, it was kind of on purpose to to prove that she can she could do this genre because she went on stage with um, the, they were then called the Dixie Chicks. Now they're just called the Chicks. She sang a song, whatever, and and the C- Country Music Federation or whoever they are were like, "Why is she singing our music?" Yeah, and they were like sassy to her backstage. Yeah, and she's like, "I'm allowed to do this. I'm an artist. I'm a musician. I can I can do any genre I want." And eight years later, she showed them with this Cowboy Carter, and then sh- they showed her back right, yeah. by uh, <laughs> completely snubbing her. Big, um, big uh, Nova artists that did get recognition, of course. Uh, was Shabuzi there, or was he just mentioning that he couldn't believe that? Um, Sh- Shabuzi was shook that Beyonce didn't get recognised, but the the song and the artist that did really well was Morgan Wallen. Yes, and four of the noms, Swanee, were because of this song. <laughs> I'm not a country guy, but that's a tune. No. Nah. I love me some Post Malone. Um, excuse me, but Chris Stapleton. Oh, yeah. whoa. He got nominated. And uh, Luke Combs, who we also play. So, you know, who says there's no crossover into mainstream? Am I right? And Beyonce, please just go back to doing, like, elite pop dance music. Thanks. <laughs> message from Jack. Um, speaking of heartfelt messages, we have heard from the divine Princess Catherine Um, with a really great update. I cannot tell you what a relief it is to have finally completed my chemotherapy treatment. The last nine months have been incredibly tough for us as a family. Doing what I can to stay cancer-free is now my focus. My path to healing and full recovery is long, and I must continue to take each day as it comes. I am, however, looking forward to being back at work and undertaking a few more public engagements in the coming months when I can. I enter this new phase of recovery with a renewed sense of hope and appreciation of life. I love that. What a beautiful voice. Hope and appreciation of life. You know, if you if you want to change tack, though, I think there's some um, interviews on the Today Show and 60 Minutes that you could catch up with, Kate, and oh, see yeah. if there's uh, an alternative. Aaron L could have a coffee. Ooh, cheeky, cheeky. Hey, that's us done. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel are up next. Make sure you register via the Nova Player app if you'd like to play Chrissy's Room Reveal tomorrow. It's where she wanders through a room just before 3 because there is a $1,000 cash in it for you. And I do do that before 3 a.m. as well, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.